Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun pop-up card. Now, this has come from the pop-up birthday present. So after I'd done that one and I thought there's so many other ways to make, you know, to use that pop-up feature in another way and I've come up with this. So that's the front. So I've kept it all within the theme, you know, of what's inside, the papers and everything. And then you open it up and the whole thing pops up and it gives you this scene. So I've got the two Christmas trees and then all the presents and then the Merry Christmas. A couple of things I'm going to change with the next one. You'll see here the Merry Christmas I've put on some fun foam but when these two, when it closes I think there's a, just a bit of pressure on there so I'm going to not add the foam for those pieces. So as much as it looks nice having them lifted I'm gonna not do that on the next one. This is still okay but also the idea is, is that you have this displayed open but because I've put a lot of dimension on the front and I've done foam, can you see underneath there, it's stopping it from lying flat. This side's fine but this here it just lifts up. So a couple of things I'm going to change but everything else I'm keeping the same, I absolutely love it. So the back piece here, that is exactly the same construction as the pop-up birthday box, so or birthday present. So if anybody hasn't seen that one, head over to this little one here. It's a really fun tutorial and lots of you have done that. Now you can write your message on the back of this, so depending on what you're having here, because I'm aware that you're not going to necessarily have the same thing that I've got, so you may have something much bigger, but you can easily write your message here, so to and from, or you can have it on the back and that's what I'm going to do. So I will stamp and write my message on a separate piece and then I will stick it onto the back and then that's how it's going to stay open and displayed. But it's really, really fun. It's just a very simple, it's not hard to do at all. I've broken down every step. You can see all the different pieces in here. It's all very neat and I love it. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the paper pad I'm using is Cozy Christmas. It's my favorite of the new Paper Addicts papers. And I know lots of you have got it because you used it to make the Christmas cottage. And that's what I used to make it as well. It's just so sweet. And there's just so many lovely parts to to fussy cut and that's what I've used. So every part of this card, apart from the Christmas tree, has come from this paper pack. Okay, so right down to even the mistletoe here, these strips, all these bits here, it's all from the paper pad. So that's the one there, I'll link it all below and over on my blog. And then this is the die here for the Christmas tree and this is the paper discovery, it's the Elegant Room Builder set. I have a really nice card coming with this. I know I've said that in another tutorial I think it was but um, I changed it a little bit so I'm just, yeah, I'm redoing that. So it's it's really lovely, you've got so many elements to it and inside here, it's tons, it's all the bits there to make up your room. So yeah, that's been a fun one to use as well. So I've gone ahead and die cut three. One's going to be on the front and then two for the inside. And I'm using the Chura Pearl by Crafters Companion. So it's got that lovely shine to it. So I've got three of those. Now I'm working off of a six by six card blank. So I've got a red one here. If you don't have this, then you will want to cut a piece of 12 by six because all of the pop-up pieces I've made to fit within this six by six area. Once you see how I do it, those of you that you, you know feel that you can adapt it, then go for you know any size card that you want. So this is six by six, so I've cut two pieces here of six by six. I don't want there to be a frame within the inside. So you'll see there, there's no border at all. It's just the paper covering. The only bit that you see from the card is that middle seam, okay? The front I've done different. I have left a border because that's the front of the card. So two pieces of six by six, and then one piece of five and three quarters squared, and that's for the front. So you'll see there, when I pop that on, I've got my red border, just like I normally would. So that's all simple bits. That is all decoration. So that will all be, you know, different for everybody. But um, I'll go through a few measurements, things like that you might want to know. But all these bits here are what you need for your pop-out part. So for the main largest pop-out, so the one where I've got the two Christmas trees on, this is a piece of two by six. Now along the six inch side, you want to score at three inches. And then along the two inch side, you want to score at half an inch. Okay, so that's that one. Then your next size down is this one here, and this is one and a half by five inches. Along the five inch side, you want to score at two and a half, and then along the one and a half inch side, you want to score at half. And then the next one down again is this piece here, and this is one by four. Along the four inch side, you want to score at two, and along the one inch side, you want to score at half an inch. 
Then you'll have your two pieces here. So you'll see these bits on the back and I've got one there as well. And then these actual pieces here. So for those bits, this is one and a quarter by one and three quarters. And along the one and three quarter side, you want to score at half an inch and you want two pieces. And then the pieces that attach to that and attach to the very back one, these are half an inch by four. And along the four inch side, you want to score at half and three and a half. And again, you want two of those. So that is all of the scoring and the papers that we need. Okay, so first of all, we'll just prepare all these pieces. You just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, next, with the larger one, you've got that middle score line and our two folded pieces there. The middle score line, you want to cut quite a nice wide triangle. Don't worry if you've gone too big. It's You just basically, what's going to happen, they're going to fold like that, obviously when the card all closes and then they're going to pop up. So you want to make sure you've got quite a big triangle. And then I just cut a little bit off of the sides there, just so that when you're looking at it straight on, oh, you don't see those pieces really they're kind of hidden because that's how it's going to be when the card opens so then the next one again I'm going to cut a nice if you want to make sure you get them the same so that visually it looks nice just lay one on top of the other then you can go in and just cut next to it there but make sure each time that you're getting it right onto that middle score line because we need this to all lie nice and flat. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit off of those. So that's that one. Then you'll have that smaller one, which is just this one by four. And again, you want to do the same. So nice big triangle and then take bits off of there. Okay, so you'll just have that half inch piece on the top and then a half inch piece on the bottom. Again, that's going to fold like that. That's all you need, it's just to stick things to because you end up building up on top of that. So you stick things on top of each other. These ones here I've already obviously done, so they're folded. You can corner the edges. I mean, I've done it there, it was just in case anything was to show, but it all ends up getting covered. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. But that's those pieces all done. Okay, next we can start sticking our mats and layers down. So I'm going to stick this one on the top. So I'm going to decorate it the same. It was quite simple. Just got that one there and then I'm going to have the Christmas tree, but I'm not going to add any bulk. So there's going to be no foam with this one. So it was the Christmas tree. Then I fussy cut one of the little tags and then I'm going to put all the presents around the bottom of the tree. So I'll do all that decoration when I do all the main stuff. For the minute, I'm just going to stick these mats down. Now you may well have to trim a little bit off these because you want to make sure that you stick it either side of that fold. So you'll have you'll be able to feel that folded piece in the middle of the card. Don't stick on that, stick either side of it. So I can see there I've got a bit overhanging and this card is a pre-made card. So it's obviously slightly shorter than six by six. I think that other one, no, oh, that was pre-made as well. That must one must have been okay. You see I've got a red line through the middle. Make sure you have that. Just test it, close the card. You want to make sure that closes with no, no problems at all. So I'm just going to flip this over. Yeah, this must have been a five and three quarter card. So I'm just going to trim that off. It shouldn't affect the pop out pieces. Yours will be fine because you will obviously cut yours and make sure it is six by six. Okay, so that's now stuck down. Once this Kalau starts to set, it will harden because I can already feel that strengthening. If you look at this one here, is almost as strong as grey board. It's really, really very, very strong. So that will end up being like that in a moment. Next, you want to start sticking down all of your pop-up pieces. So get your largest one and you want to pop glue onto the backs here. You can use double-sided tape if you would prefer, but you do want something that's going to be nice and strong. Okay, and then, so this is the back. You're going to pop this down and you want the points here to go as close to the back but keep that middle score line here within this score line, in line with that score line there. So I'm just going to sit that down first and then I'm just going to move that until, like I said, this score line has to sit perfect with this one and these pieces you want to just get, not over the edge, just literally as close to there, the edge there as possible. Just let that grip 
And what you want to do is just close it and that will also ensure that you've got everything in the right position because if it folds flat then you know that they're both positioned equally and when it opens it will pop up and that's what we're going to start building everything up on so I am just going to make sure that is completely stuck and doesn't move okay then you're going to get the next one and again add your glue to the tabs and then this one here the edge here of your tabs you want to almost touch the front of this one so again keeping that fold running with the middle there just sit it down and kind of push it in as close as you can you see there you don't have to have it that close by the way this is just how I've done them you could have these forward but you have to take into account that whatever you have on here so once my trees are there when this all folds flat you can see there my Christmas tree just fits in so you do have to, if you're not going to follow this one, then whatever you stick down here, whatever you put on it, you have to make sure that when it closes, it will all be concealed. You don't want anything popping out because otherwise it won't fit in the envelope and it just looks a bit odd. So again, just fold it down flat each time and just make sure that's all stuck. Okay, and again, you can see how they lift up. So then the last one, you're going to, again, pop your glue and just do it exactly the same way as we've done these ones here, so I'm just going to stick that down just in front there and again close that all up. Okay, so now you'll see those three pieces and how good they look. You want them to just, you can see how even they look because we drop down by an inch on each one. They're all even there as well. Next we want to attach these pieces here. So just pop a bit of glue on the end of one of them. Okay, and you want to stick it onto the end of this one here. You see where I've stuck it against? So, like so. And then again with this one here. Okay, so now you've got those pieces like this. Next, with these ones here, it's gonna be easier first if you add glue to this end here and then stick it so that it's above that fold. Okay, so let me just pop that one in and then I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what I've done. I'll just bring that one up. Can you see where I've just stuck it inside there but above that score line? Okay. And again, with this one here, pop a bit of glue on there. And maybe turn it this way, you might see better. And then I'm just going to stick it again in the centre but above that score line. Okay, so then you'll have these pieces like this. Next. You want to add glue to the bottom here, okay, and do this one as well. Actually, no, do no, do one at a time, and then you want to fold like that and just let it lie flat, okay, and close it. It needs to be completely flat, so the tab there, there's glue just under that, lie it flat, and then push it down. And then as this lifts, it pulls this up. When it lifts up, still drying a bit, but once that's flat, you want that to really stand up. So I've got the glue again on that side there and just close the whole thing down. Okay, so now it's ready for us to decorate. So I'm going to have my Christmas trees on the top of the back piece there. And then I've fussy cut loads of the presents. It's going to look very similar. In fact, I'm probably going to follow the decoration of that because... I just, I like it. So I'm going to keep that one there so I can follow it. I'm gonna pop this all on high speed, but all I'm doing is just adding some glue and sticking it on there. And the idea is, is that you wanna cover all of the white. So all here, you just wanna completely hide it because when you look at it like that, you can't see any of those pieces that are there. Okay, and then these bits here, I'll give you the measurements to, for at the end. Also as well, I should quickly add that whatever you're sticking on here, make sure it doesn't go over the fold. So I've got that right up to the fold. So again, it's all got to fold flat and check everything. Well, actually, the, this here is the most important one. So check your back piece and make sure that when you close it, can you see there, it all completely hides within there. All right.
Okay, so that is everything decorated. I'm really pleased with how this has come together. Next, you just want to decorate the tops of these. So they might have to just take a slither off of that one, but there. And I just think that once you add those on, then there's no white at all. So I'm going to stick those two down. Okay, so that's those stuck down and then it all folds flat. Everything's all hidden inside and there's the front. So very similar to this one here. I just haven't put foam pads on it. So I wanted to keep that nice and flat so that now when it opens up and you'll find that it will initially be quite bouncy, but once you start adding the weight to it, it will flatten down. So now that lies much, much nicer. And uh, once it does stay open, it will just naturally drop. But it's just this really nice look, so cute. And you can add sparkle to it. I might add a little bit of my, I'm waiting for my one of my sparkle pens to come actually, because this one's completely gone. This is the Spectrum Noir, and this is the clear, and that is clear, so it just leaves a lovely sparkle. So once I get some more, I'll go over it, because you can see there, I did do it on the Merry Christmas. You can just see the sparkle there, so. But yeah, there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, quite a mega pop-up card. I'm not sure what to call this one yet, but it's um it's a really fun one. It's very easy and you can do anything you want on it. Just make sure every time you add something that you fold it flat and check that it's all gonna work each time you add something to it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope it's inspired you and you give it a go. I can't wait to see your versions of this pop-up card. And um, please hit the like button if you have enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.